All right, guys, this is a follow up from the last tutorial. I'm gonna show you some great tips and tricks. So, I created the press a lot one and level two. It's not really level two, this is just for the dialogue. Uh, so, with press a lot one, we're gonna talk about conditions, and with the level, I'm gonna use if statement. And let's go, let me play what we have so far here. Me, press a lot. Talk and so here so i have it in code that changed to the new dialogue so if i press it now you okay, want me to help you with and he said never mind so right now i have a condition set to have a reputation i'll show you in the code i said never mind I say, okay and then now i pick this up my reputation will increase now you can come back and talk again and so what may i help you with now i have this option give me another coin press it puts another coin there and that will be the new dialogue that I use as long as the game still running. There you go. Now with this one, if I choose level two, it says level locked, and continue. And then so what if I can do level one? It starts level one. All right. So let me explain this. So let's start with press a lot first. So here I have you ask the question, and then you select has condition. And I have a definition that's called Pestle Rep. And I have it here. So I check if change it Pestle Rep. Set it if it's the greater than or equal to over. And I had one. So that's how you get this option. So this will show up, show up in the prices. Right? And then with the level. I have a if statement if levels unlock which is another uh value we have here so I have it as one so if levels unlock is greater than or equal to two you change the scene to I put level one but you know you'd put the level that you want to load so I have level one so it loads level one because that's the first level so I didn't do a condition and then it the thing is if it's locked it's just gonna skip down to here and say it's locked so with this here, it just switches to the next scene so it doesn't finish this dialogue. So one more thing, when loading another scene, the way I, oh, I pause the tree here, on the next scene you have to remember to always um, resume the scene, resume the scene tree. So I have that on my player character. Let's open them up in the script. So I just set it right at the beginning, right here. Just set it to be false. I had that set from the previous tutorial. I didn't mention it so there it is and then you have let's see put it uh, here could add a wait timer so wait seconds tell it to wait two seconds and then it will tell you that the level is locked run it go here press two and it waits then it says level locked so that's for a timer go down the dialogue and then one more thing is for exporting your projects, you'll need to go into export settings. And right when you let's delete this. Go to this week. Let's say we're exporting to Windows. You need to go to the resources and include dot uh, JSON. Or dot JSON. Oops. JSON and a comma. Then star dot CFG. So this is needed to um to make sure that whatever settings you create here and in here all of this get exported with the project so that's about it all right guys thanks for watching